Hey guys, welcome back to Sky Factory 2.5 with one Fred Jones. So I haven't had much time to record as of recently, but I've got some time now. I don't quite know what I want to do in this episode, but I have some time to record, so let's record. Um, one thing I know I want to do is start by showing you guys the mob farm and the things that I've done with the mob farm since I've seen you last. So let's go check it out real quick. Now it starts up here at the top. I actually put in the lights we talked about in the last episode. And I wired them into our switch, so whenever you turn on the fans, the lights turn off. Like so. So it's pretty cool. Um, I think I used something. Let's jump up here real quick. I used a... What is this thing called? A null cell from Red Logic. And basically, it inverts the signal. So the fan signal that's coming up from down here comes up and gets turned on. When the fans are off and so on and so forth so it works out pretty well just wired it up like that um there might actually be a couple spots in there that mobs can actually spawn in with the lights on but it's only like one or two blocks i think this is kind of an odd shape uh farm so yeah but we also talked about how i didn't quite know what i wanted to do with all the loot well, I've got a few good ideas. I still have to work some of them out, but I've got a few good ideas down here. The first thing is the loot bags, right? So in this uh, crafter, it's a tier two crafter, I've got this set up. So the common bags come in and we turn them into uncommon bags. We then turn the uncommon bags into rare bags, the rare bags into epics, and then the epics into legendaries. Now, um, let me see, yeah. So this is all the cool things you can get out of a legendary loot bag. Um, a lot of these things I'm probably not going to use a lot of. Now these would be nice. I want to go to the end at some point, so that would be pretty cool. Um, chance cubes, those are always good. Uh, we haven't done any in this series, but we probably will. It'll be kind of a fun thing to do. Um, could definitely use a division sigil. I want to um, make the cool builder's wand and a lot of different things from that mod, extra utilities. So... That'd be nice to have. Um, that's something I want to get into. Draconic Evolution. That's a mod I want to play with. So that's some cool stuff we can get into. So that's what we're doing here. We're going to turn all of our loot bags into legendary loot bags using this. Now it comes out of here and then goes into here. Um, we got a couple legendaries already. Now these are the loot bags that cannot be crafted in anything. The worn out loot bags. And I actually think I've gotten those from Enderman from down here. Um, I've cleared out most of that except for the ender pearls and I think what do I have in this chest oh yeah just armor so I think I actually where's it at it's not in here um, I can't even think of what I'm trying to think of right now so but I think I'm gonna get the, the worn out loot bags and then oh I put them up here the dimlets unknown dimlets are up there um, that's something we're going to play with a little bit too. Monkey Boy's been playing with those, and it looks like a really fun thing to do. So, I've also got a lot of things going into the trash can here. We've got um, pink dye, bacon donuts head. Well, any head, basically, because i got it set to where it ignores the metadata. So, any head's going to go in there. Spider eyes are going in there. Um, and then, as far... That's the stuff that cannot be recycled. And then the stuff that goes into the loot bag recycler... Oh, wrong one. Right here. All of these things are going into the loot bag recycler. So, all these things go in here, and then every once in a while it gives out a loot bag. And then the loot bag then comes out here and goes into our tier 2 crafter, and it makes it into a legendary loot bag eventually. So, that's kind of what I got going on. Oh, one more thing. I've been actually tinkering with the idea of removing the enchantments from the armor that comes through here. And once you remove the enchantments, then we can, let's see, well, everything's enchanted in here. I don't have any books, but I was going to show you, you can actually take, like, your leather, for example, and uh, make it into a, a good leather uh, with no durability. And you can put it into a pulverizer and pulverize it down into leather. So I've done a little bit of that, and I did get some leather to make some books. Um, I think I ran out though. Let's go to sleep here. Pretty sure I ran out anyways. And uh, we can't make any more books for that. But that's something I'll work on in between episodes or whatever. And I'll show you what I've done with that. 
Um, also, I have added this in over here. So we've got constant lava going into our smeltery here. Um, I just set it up with some servos. And you actually have to use these hardened fluid ducts for this because if you try to use the regular fluid ducts, they will explode or blow up or melt or something, whatever. They get hot, hot liquids in them. So I've got that working out. And then um, I also had a somebody comment that I should set this up automatically. So that's what I've done. Um, I've got a, an igneous extruder making cobblestone. And then as the crucibles need them, the cobblestone goes up and in to the crucibles. So I don't have to mess with this at all whatsoever. So I got that set up. It's pretty cool. Um, and I really got to get back into the swing of things. I might actually have a little bit of time at work now. Um, things have seem to be slowing down a little bit for me. So I need to get back into the swing of things and figure out what I want to do. One thing I know I want to do is over to the right of this area here, we're going to put in a smeltery for... Um, we're basically going to move this smeltery over there so that we can make our tools and different things there. And then down here underneath will be the smeltery that will make all of our ingots, our blocks of uh, materials and stuff like that. So I'm going to start working on that. And then one thing I know I want to do today is come check all this out. So I've got so much chests over here full of stuff. It's ridiculous. Every one of these chests is full. Oh, there's those gimlets. And then I got all this. They're just I got so much stuff. It's not even funny. So it's definitely time to do an AE system, or a or a me system, uh, whatever it's called. <laughs> Let's go look to see what it's called. I've actually made a few of the components here. We've got the basic setup going on over here. We've got an ME drive, ME controller, We've got a crafting terminal, um, solar panel to power it. A lot of people make the power converter for this. It's not necessary. Not for this mod pack anyways. No reason for the, the converter. A lot of other mod packs do require you to use the power inverter that changes um, your normal RF power into whatever power this ME or AE system uses. But that's not necessary in this mod pack. Um, so let's see what else we got here. Oh, we've got the 1K ME storage cells. Now... To store a lot of our dust and things, I think I might go with the bigger storage cell. But for right now, just to get things kicking, we're going to use the the smaller storage cells. Oh, and then also, real quick, let's run over here to the uh, mob farm again. I want to show you, I had to add another, uh, uh, another one of these things. Solar panel. <laughs> I had to make a bigger solar panel because the auto spawner down here uses a ton of power a lot more than I remember it using but that actually powers it pretty well I could run this thing non-stop with that now um, as long as I'm sleeping at night so we don't run out of power because of no sunlight but if I sleep at night I could run that thing full bore and not run out of power now um, I could also make a bunch of energy storage cells and uh, not worry about that because it makes plenty of power during the day. So it would actually make excess power that we could store and then it would then use that at night. But I'm not going to worry about that right now. But let's go ahead and get this guy set up real quick here. Let's get some of the stuff out of our hot bar make it easier for us to set this up. We're going to start with the controller and the drive. And we'll grab these guys. Solar panel down here. We're going to need those there. And we're definitely going to need this. All right, so I've kind of already decided I want to kind of set this up over here. So I may move it later, but let's just get it going here. Put that one there. And I think we can actually put the drive right in front of it. Okay. And then we're going to need that like so. And we can put our crafting terminal right on the front like that. And then... I think the power will go through all of that if I just go into the back of this with that and our solar panel like that. Do we have power? Um, looks like we have power. Awesome. Okay. Now, oh, let's go into here, put our drives in here. All right. So now if I throw those in there, oh, perfect. All right. So I can just, I'm going to throw everything in here. Oh, man, I, I should have made this a long time ago, honestly. So if you guys have any questions on how to do any of this, uh, just let me know in the comments. I'll help you the best I can. Um, it's just 
there's people all over the place with different tutorials and different things showing you guys how to do stuff. So um, I didn't want to bore you with um, showing you how to, to craft all that stuff. So, um, and I'm actually going to, oh, I need an axe. <laughs> all right. So let's grab an axe and I'm going to go over here and I'm going to empty everything I've got and all the other chests. I have to get used to using that thing. Um, let's see. Oh, and then I want to show you guys this as well. You see, we want this to link to our um, NEI here. So if I type in uh, APP, see, it's not, oh, it did change, or it is linked. Is it linked automatically? Let me see. Search box. Yeah, NEI synchronous. That's what you want to do. You want to synchronize your, well, that's what I want to do anyways. You want to synchronize the uh, search box into, see, that, like that, when we, when we, Put something in, a p p. Oh, let's say um, turtles. Nothing happens on the right over here. But if we go ahead and change this to our synchronized mode, and you put in turtle, see how everything on the right here changes. That's what we want. We want to be able to pick crafting recipes out of here by searching in this bar here. You don't have to search the other bar. So that'll work out really well the way it is. Um, let's throw these guys in here and I'm going to go ahead and go over there and pick up all the stuff that I've got and we're going to move all of our storage over here so I'll see you in a minute all right so I got everything moved from over there to our ME system over here now I had more stuff than I actually thought I had so I had to make three more storage cells and uh, if you'll notice that these are all showing to be orange or, or yellow um, they show orange or yellow if you've maxed out the amount of types it can hold. So if you look here, 940 of 1,024 bytes use 63 of 63 types. So we've maxed out the amount of types of items we can put in that one. And the same with the rest of these except for the bottom one here. It has 17 of 63 types. So um, at... I did the math on that and I worked out the 269 types of things that I put in there. So, I mean, it's that's one of the things about these small storage cells is um, they're good for multiple types of things because even the big storage cells only hold 63 types of things. They might hold, um, let's look real quick, um, say, what do they have, 4K? I think there's 4K. Yeah, 4K. So a 4K storage cell holds... 4096 bytes but only 63 types so if you got a bunch of different items these are the way to go now if you got a bunch of the same item then you want to go up to the bigger cell now that's something like I said we will do but uh, later on whenever it's time to start storing some of this stuff into our ME system here so um, let me just show you real quick something I found interesting um, I actually have two wrenches. I don't need two wrenches. Can't use two wrenches at the same time. I thought I had lost one, but because I was so unorganized, um, I really didn't lose it. I just couldn't find it. So I made another wrench. Um, and there's many things like that. Look at all those bows. I had no idea I had all those bows. I could actually take those and combine them. Um, and I wouldn't have nearly as many. I don't know what else I can show you, but there are a lot of different things in here that, um, that are multiple huh yeah so anyways this is this is one of the good reasons to have this um it makes things so much easier i wish i would have done this a long time ago so now what i'm going to start working on is i'm going to start working on getting that stuff over there into here now i'll probably go ahead and yeah let's go ahead and do this let's craft uh 4k let's see what a 4k will take to make 4k let's see that's what we want right so we need a 4k me storage component to make that we need that do we have any of these calculation processors i don't know I, it doesn't look like we do all right so let's um oh that's what i need 1k storage cells which i have that stuff right no i don't have any okay so i don't have everything we need let me get everything together and we'll uh, quickly craft up some 4K storage cells so that we can start putting other cool things in here.
All right, guys, so I got to thinking, and a lot of the reason why we have this is because it makes crafting so painless. So let's go ahead and do this. We're going to craft on camera and just show you how easy it is to use this crafting terminal. Terminal. So let's go in here to 4K. I did make sure we have everything. We've got all the stuff we need to do this. So go into that. This is what we want to make. And our base thing that we're looking for are these logic processors. So just hit the question mark there. Boom. Let's make uh, five of them. Okay, and then the next thing that we're going to need is calculation processors. Okay, question mark it. Make five more. Oh, you know what I should have done? Because we need to smelt these. Now, later on, um, we should be able to set it up to where it will smelt it. If you tell it to smelt it, it'll smelt it for you. And we're going to set all that up later. But for right now, we're going to have to run these over to the uh, furnace here and get them going. I did set this up where you can put different items in there and then you got an output chest over here and there's all the good stuff. So we don't have to sit there and wait for those first five to go through before we could do the next five. Okay, now let's go back over here. Let's see. We need quartz glass, I think. Let's look. 4K. Yeah, quartz glass. So that's the recipe there. We'll make up some of that. Okay, and then what else do we need? Redstone we got, the iron we've got. Um, yeah. And yeah, we've got all this. Okay, so cool. Let's run back over to our furnaces and grab our processors. Like I said, this is super painless. This really doesn't take any work at all. Um, that's good for now. I think it's good for now. I hope it's good for now. <laughs> so we'll throw these guys in here. Like that and like that. We'll go ahead and take that recipe out of there. We've got to put 4K back in here. So we need those guys? Question mark it. Boom. Perfect. One, two, three, four, five. No, nope, that's all I've got enough for. Do I need more redstone? I might need more redstone. Let's grab some more redstone. Okay. Put it in there. And then let's go ahead and move on to the next thing. Takes it kind of a minute, doesn't it? All right. So the next thing we're going to need is this, right? I believe so. We can only make one. Oh, we only can make one. That's not okay, is it? No, it is okay. Okay, perfect. Boom. 4K ME storage cell. Like I said, painless. All right. So now we can throw this guy in here. And we've got quite a bit more storage available to us. We could actually drop all the zombie flesh or all the dust we want in here now. We can hold so many more things. Well, 4,000 more things. Uh, just another 63 types, but 4,000 more things. Um, I'm trying to figure out there's probably a way we can set it up to where this storage cell right here only takes certain items. Um, if I remember correctly, there is a way to do that. I just don't remember exactly what that way is. I'll have to do some research. I'll figure it out. And we can fix it to where this storage cell only takes dust or only takes uh, cobblestone, whatever it may be. So that whenever we do put in items, just throw items in here, it'll automatically go into that cell. So I'll work on that. We'll figure it out. In between episodes, I'll do a lot of other stuff. I'll get um, some more work done on that. Um, pipe everything over here to where things will go straight from there into our ME system. And next episode, we could probably start working on a lot of other cool things. So stay tuned. I want to thank everybody for watching. And remember, you too can be one of the five. Just subscribe.